I have gone for therapy. But you know, deep in my heart, I still had this kind of toxic belief. I was supremely overconfident. Nothing would touch me. Uh, our conversation was like one of the first time you ever spoke about your mental health. Did you see the per perception of people changing towards you after? In good ways and bad ways. No, yeah. As Guru Lal Ji, he's a pagal. He's the first pagitra I know. Came out of that. There are still uh, parts of it that leads into our personal life. The solution lies within yourself. You don't need anyone else. Now my perception has changed. I will be a little more human towards myself mm. when I'm being a father, and also I will not try to be as controlling. I will let my children. I hope to have a few. Yeah. My children hone their personality. Life hasn't given me scope mm. or the luxury to cry. You'll understand this. You know, I started seeing my mother in Bhavatra. In Big Boss, that's probably the reason why I fell in love with him. I am dying to get married and have a family. Uh, I had to hold Ashwara's hand and swing her in and do a drop or something. And after I finished the scene, I saw something red on my hand. I was like, "Are you cool? Blood?" And I checked my hand. It wasn't my hand that was bleeding. It was Ashwara's. So you didn't know a second Shahrukh is gonna come to meet you? I didn't know that. I, I was like, "Are you?" <laughs> How has he changed? What is going on? <laughs> Double role, tha Bob Bappi guy. What is going on? He is a heartthrob. He is a warrior. Uh, but for me, I think uh, I remember him because uh, it was one of my first in-depth conversations. Uh, one of the longest conversations. One of the most heartfelt conversations I ever had with a celebrity. It was a very hard to hard conversation, and I hope this one is going to be the same. And uh, we are going to talk about a lot of things. And uh, I am excited as I am joined by someone who has just given an impressive performance in the blockbuster of the year till now. And uh, he is doing some amazing work, and he has been doing that always. I am excited and happy as I am joined by Ajaz Khan. So, first Ajaz, welcome to Bollywood Bubble. Thank you, thank you, Akash. Thank you very much. And I want to reiterate on that. I think that was one of my best interviews I've given to somebody, mm. and it is so good to put a face to that voice. And uh, I think us ek der ghante ke conversation me, mm. uh, I could open up so much, mm. and I could be my most vulnerable self. And I thank you for it. Thank you so much for giving me that opportunity because it was very cathartic for me as well. Uh, I want to start by saying that Jawan ka mal kar gaye hai. Obviously, we all know that, and uh, it was expected, and it has lived up, and I think it has lived up even more. Uh, how has it been being associated with a project that has been creating records every day? But not just that, it has become a celebration. Sab log, matlab worldwide, everyone is celebrating it as a festival. It's not just a film. Akash. I am still finding it hard to believe what mm -hmm. happened to me. Yeah. You don't wake up one day in your life and decide that you are going to be a part of history in the making, mm -hmm. and you are going to be a part of the biggest uh, project in any mm -hmm. given industry. It happened to me, and uh, all I can say, my voice is shaking right now, even when I talk about it. All I can say is I am so thankful. It is unbelievable. What, how it happened, what happened to me? Mm. They put me in the trailer. Uh, it was one of the most pivotal scenes in yeah. the film where the story changes, and I can't thank anyone. जिन्होंने मेरे लिए दुआ की है और जिसकी दुआ मुझे लगी है. Thank you so much. And actually, like you have got to have the I think the best scenes because. You have worked with, you shared the screen with Vijay sir, you shared the screen with Nayantara, and you shared the screen with both Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah. Not just one. Yeah. You shared the screen with both Shah Rukh Khan. So it must feel a little special. Because the whole film. Yeah. Of course, of course. Tab hai na, jab, when I was shooting the the fight sequence, I really didn't know the story as much oh. because I got associated with the project one night before mm. I started shooting. A very old producer friend of mine, Bonnie. Mm. He called me. He is one of the producers with Red Chillies now. Mm. He called me to say, "So and so is the scene right now. There is a fight sequence with Shahrukh. I don't know what else is there's going to be. It's going to be in development. 
but would you want to be a part of it? I said, of course, man. Okay, fine. Right now, go and give your uh, measurements mm. in red chilies. I did that. The next night, I was shooting. And we didn't have a script script per se because mm. I just joined in, right? Yeah. And it was only on need to know basis. So I really didn't know the story. Uh, <laughs> so you didn't know a second Shah Rukh is going to come to meet you? I didn't know that. I, I was like, Are, how has he changed? What is going on? <laughs> Double role, tha, Bob <laughs> Bitti guy, what is going on? I was like that. And it was brilliant yeah, to work with him that way. Um, I got into some hard hitting, genuinely hard hitting. Uh, fight sequences which I was really scared of yeah. because um, of course everything is make-believe but mm. there is scope of injury especially yeah. when you're so nervous mm. so I was really nervous but uh, you made me realize right now that I was a, a part of the scenes with both Shahrukhs with Vijay sir and Nayantara yeah man yeah and also like you Chalo, Vijay sir ke saath, this is still bhai wala question. You have to beat up Nayantara and Shah Rukh Khan. Don't ask. That must have been terrifying, at least to some level. Take a screen pain when you are doing the scene, it's different. Yeah, but genuinely, I'm not making it up. Genuinely, there was a scene where I am supposed to hit uh, Shah Rukh, hmm. sir, with the butt of the gun. Hmm. gun was real, man. It's heavy in my hand. I'm hitting it like this. I'm hitting it like this. And at least I was saying, Ijaz, I want more expression. I want you to give that. And finally, Shah Rukh said, Ijaz, kar usko barabar karna. Karna barabar. I said, sir, karta hon, hai. Then I extended my hand and did that. And I was still worried. It would slip from my hand. Mm. It would hurt him on his shoulder. And I know he's got a shoulder ailment because his shoulder was dislocated. Mm. And I went to the same surgeon for my shoulder dislocation mm. to get it operated. So I know that. <laughs> so I was really worried. And then I had to kick Nayantara ma'am that way. Man, <laughs> you have no idea, but I think I did a decent job. You it, did is, a it is acting. It is, yeah. it is acting. And I have to say, like that scene has got the most amount of cheers because it was the introduction scene of yeah, Vikram, Rathod. Uh, Vikram Rathod coming in the picture again. So uh, it was amazing. What was your first impression when you saw him in that uh, Vikram Rathod wala role? I was confused. I really <laughs> didn't know what was happening. <laughs> I got complete clarity only when I saw uh-huh. the film. <laughs> I knew, I knew, yeah, yeah. Hai, but I didn't know the backstory. I didn't know hmm. that was going on. Which one did you like more, Azad or Vikram Rathor? Vikram Rathor, man. All the way. Any day. What swag? swag. What swag with that Either cigar said, in his mouth? As I said, he gave very zaddy vibes. <laughs> he gives the actor so yeah. that role is like. Firstly, like Vijay Sethupati sir, you got to Big have fan. the most amount of. Screen time and most amount of scenes with him yeah. compared to other actors. Yeah. How was his aura? How was it working with him? Because he's still like, uh, it was his first outing on the big screen in Hindi films. Mm. He has done Hindi projects, but they were all OTT. Mm. Uh, this was his first outing on the big screen. And uh, his look, that was also completely different. No one was expecting that for you to kind of be in his company's experience, his aura. What was that experience like? Yeah, when they told me I'm playing Manish Vijay Setupati's younger brother. I was so excited, you know, because I think I started my tryst with South Indian cinema by seeing Super Deluxe. And I was like, what is this? Who is this? How is this? How is it possible? Then I went back and saw his other films. I was like, oh my God, he's such a non-assuming, natural, beautiful actor. I didn't get a chance to tell him all these things because, you know, Time parameters are very strict on set and you don't really get to chill and everything. But especially when you're working with Vijay sir, because he comes from Chennai, he's shooting for a short period of time. He has to go back. He has got different uh, uh, social engagements also. And he likes to improvise. Hmm. So, you know, as I said, my character was being developed on the go. Hmm. And uh, they decided that it is imperative that Kali's character loses somebody very close to him for him to start taking revenge. And for that, we had to show what Kali's and Manish's relationship is. Yeah. So in one of the scenes where he improvised, he needed to show that I am not that street smart when it comes to business. I'm not that diplomatic. Uh, I am a little childish. Hmm. I'm a little immature. So he decided that he's going to tell me a parable hmm. as a child. Bachchum ko jaise samjhate hai na? 
otherwise that scene that mm. i did with him in the gym yeah. it is a straight forward scene yeah but he wanted to imp <coughs> improvise how do we explain to a small child in a story yeah. and the child is still confused uh, what did you say mm. so he improvised that and he explained to me this is why i want to do then he said oh, i'll call you and then you press my hand mm. then i was like oh, what is he saying why should i press his hand then i realized he wants to establish that father son kind of bond yeah. between these brothers that what must be the small kid doing to his father like elder brother as a child hath dabata rahega pair dabata rahega that is what he wanted to bring out and that is the brilliance that is the sheer brilliance of an actor man yeah. and i'm so lucky to have been a part of scenes with him and intimate scenes with him yeah but did people start calling you golgappa after a lot of people <laughs> have especially on social media and i love it <laughs> see you have been given a name by vijay sethupati on screen sahi but and even for that it wasn't a part of the scene mm -hmm. he wanted to give me a very very intimate kind of name you know mm -hmm. a, a nickname which which you will give it to give, give to a cute little child yeah abhi on screen i don't look like a golgappa anywhere <laughs> but for Kali's character, he remembers yeah. his younger brother yeah. as that. Yeah, he sees him as a child. Un, uske liye to uska bache jaise hai. But I feel like you have worked with like uh, royalties in Bollywood, and I say this why because I just when I was coming, you know, which song I was listening to on loop. Tumhe aaj maine jo dekha. <laughs> I have been listening to that song on loop, and a uh, few days ago I was just watching the videos because I love Kuch Na Kaho ke song. You have worked with Abhishek and Ishwarya even before they got married. Mm -hmm. So you have got a chance to work with them. Firstly, how was it working with them at that time? Because that time they weren't together also. They weren't. Uh, I don't want to get into who was seeing whom then, mm -hmm. but uh, I remember one incident that happened on set. I was doing a dance sequence with Ishwarya, and I was yeah. a dancer then. I was. I used to work with Ganesh mm -hmm. Agade, right? And Bosco and Caesar were doing the choreography, and they were friends. So they went a little all out with me. Acha, you do this, you do that. Mm -hmm. and uh, i had to hold ashwara's hand and swing her in and do a drop or something and after i finished the scene i saw something red on my hand i was like are khoon blood and i checked my hand it wasn't my hand that was bleeding it was ashwara's she was wearing a diamond cut ring or something and it cut into her finger and we finished the shot that way and i was like oh my god ab mujhe maar milne wale ki cheez uh she was very sweet and she so i feel you had the most challenging role in that film because uh, to ignore ashwarya for someone else is very difficult <laughs> who does that <laughs> who does that, <laughs> who does that? <laughs> who does that? <laughs> but you had to do that yeah. i feel like uh, dil pe I bada know, in in that uh, ron sippy i think uh, was directing his first film right mm -hmm. and ramesh sippy sir came and sat on set mm -hmm. okay and of course ron sippy was directing everyone taking care of the song etc and i remember i had to stand on the railing mm -hmm. and act as if i'm seeing everyone dancing downstairs So at that time I was a dancer. I didn't even know anything about act or ang acting or angles. And as a dancer, you are like this all the time. Yeah. Because you need to breathe. Because you can't be like this. <laughs> You're breathing like that, right? So my railing par aake aise gada. So he told me, "This is what Mr. Ramesh Sippy directed me." He told me, "Put your head down." Okay, okay. I put my head down. Like that. Yeah. 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 you have actually gone from starting from films then going to tv mm. and usually it's the other way around that people choose to do firstly why did you kind of uh, after doing uh, your debut was thak shak if i'm not wrong and then main dil tujh ko diya after that it was that you moved to tv why you decided that time to kind of switch mediums because us samay itna zyada prominent nahi tha different mediums pe kaam karna jaise aaj yaar if you're coming i did television because i thought it would pay me very well I wanted to establish myself primarily, and at that time, it was how would anyone from an outsider uh, get into? I mean, I'm not getting into the nepotism debate, but mm -hmm. frankly, I really didn't know how to negotiate uh, getting into the film industry. Kisse ja ke milna hai? Just knew one or two coordinators who would send me for uh, ad film auditions, yeah. and I got those ad film auditions. But unfortunately, I broke my shoulder. in maine dil tujh ko diya for 2 years mm -hmm. so i was down to my last resources and i decided i got a call i decided i'll go and explore it and mm -hmm. i went there and ekta gave me a 3 year exclusive contract with television it was like big deal everyone's making so much money and i will get to learn acting yeah. because before that 
when I was dancing with Shahrukh sir in Wembley in 2000, uh, that was the first time I was I worked yeah. with him. Uh, I got spotted because I did small skits with him in the song. Hey, boy, zara dekh ke chalo and Rama ya vasta vaya and all. So I had some interactions with him. That's where uh, Zarina Mehta, who's Zarina Skrovala now, she was running UTV then, television. So she called me for television and she said that I want you cast you. I want to cast you in Sarade. Ken Ghosh saw me in that show and he wanted to cast me in Ishkrish Pyaar. Ah. So anyway, so I decided that time that yeah, they are seeing potential in me. Yeah. So maybe I should figure out acting. And television was. मार पीट के आपको एक्टिंग सीखनी पड़ती है इट इज लाइक वट यू कॉल इट अ क्रैश कोर्स यू नो सो यू हैव टू लर्न एंड दे गिव यू दैट मच अपॉर्चुनिटीज एवरी डे टू डू फोर सीन्स एवरी डे एंड यू हैव टू लर्न आई थिंक आई पेड माई ड्यूज देर आई लर्न एक्टिंग वट एवर आई लर्न मोस्टली देर and as you mentioned i just realized you have seen shahrukh khan from ramaiya vastavaiya to not ramaiya vastavaiya yeah you have seen actually yeah, yeah. it's like a full circle for yeah. you yeah. but like you have also gone from being that chocolate boy to being this rugged uh, uh, sexy man yeah. has been that journey been like uh, firstly that journey also like was it difficult to kind of overcome that chocolate boy image for you because after a certain point people start seeing you like that only in that zone it was a conscious decision hmm. because I was getting typecast in television mainly hmm. that way. Chocolate boy ki tarah aapko filmon mein kaun cast karega? So you have to find your niche, yeah. and the easiest niche is doing the negative role, playing the yeah. anti-hero. Hmm. I wanted to explore that in the south also. Unfortunately, I did one film called Dhara, which didn't work. Hmm. I played my negative lead there, hmm. uh, and then I tried to do as different roles as possible in hmm. films, uh, but films. Don't really pay your bills, mm-hmm. so I had to keep going back to television and taking care of my finances. Then, mm-hmm. fortunately, by God's grace and everyone's dua, I am in a position to make choices now. Mm-hmm. So I'm exploring that. I'm having a lot of fun. Most of the mm-hmm. decisions that I took at that time, I was compelled to take. It wasn't that I wasn't being supported, or yeah. there were a few things that <clears throat> needed. a lot of my resources and had to be taken care of yeah and uh, i remember you mentioned that ki for two years like your shoulder so oh, injuries are a part injuries, and parcel of my life but uh, injuries are part and parcel but it was in the beginning of your career mm. and as you said like coming from the outside and figuring things out firstly takes a lot of time and then on to add to it there is an injury that is kind of stopping you from doing what you are supposed to do how was it dealing with that no, at that ask. point of time don't ask me but you know brother at that time na i was supremely overconfident hmm. nothing would touch me to kya toot gaya na at that time i was actually stru- supremely confident and i thought that nothing would really bother me long term i was 25 years old hmm. my body would heal itself hmm. i did maine dil tujhko diya i broke my shoulder for almost 2 years remember my father and my brother actually discussing hmm. that uh, he might be like this most of his life now all his life and we'll have to support him mm-hmm. i was like oh man that's not going to happen mm-hmm. i remember i used to take a sharing rickshaw i was paying 5000 rent in pali naga for a small room i was living by myself i used to pay 2 rupees to go to bandra station in the evening i used to take a train to dadar from bandra station take a train to kalyan from bandra station from dadar station mm-hmm. fast train at 7:15 do my workout with raj chatriya who was a trainer the only trainer who said that fine you come to me i will rebuild your body <clears throat> rehab my injury yeah. i did that for 4 months and then i went on to do delhi ki sardi mm. so at that time as i said i was very ignorant but now the kind of injuries i have i know that they have permanent repercussions on my health i tore my achilles tendon last year i tore mm. i broke two metatarsals mm. i got vertigo i got typhoid i got typhoid again mm. uh that has been very challenging yeah. it's taken a toll on me man yeah i agree matlab when you are young you feel like mostly you know it's taken a toll on me over here yeah because 
you have to keep rebuilding yourself every day and you have to keep and you're a man yeah. you have to fit uh, into that zone also no which, you have to earn your value every day yeah. nobody is going to give you that value just because you were born it is very difficult it has been very difficult but god's grace man in these injuries also i finished all these projects <laughs> that's what uh, the show must go on uh, you follow that it is going on it is going on it's going brilliantly but i completely understand because uh, as you grow and your body also starts taking time to heal so and when that I, also takes a toll when mentally. i tore my achilles tendon in football my doctor asked me so where are you playing football i'm playing on the turf where would you play earlier doctor all my life i've played football but i've played on ground so now i realize i'm playing with 20 year olds mm. but i am 48 i am twice their age but i'm still hammering my achilles tendon and my tendons and my knee and i have overused them as a dancer mm. my left leg for pivoting you use yeah. this mm. you have ruined this tendon yeah. all your life my doctor told me it is called a weekend warrior's injury so you have to realize you can't go for a triathlon right now you have to figure out you have to change gear so i have done that earlier i used to feel that oh my god i'm compromising on my lifestyle choices and everything but now i know there is no compromise it is just evolution yeah and uh, i remember i take a reference from the conversation that we had before uh, i remember you had said that uh, there was a time you started choosing roles uh, so as to uh, you were choosing broken roles because that used to help you kind of catheterize you in a way that you thought ki when they will get better you will also get better has that kind of approach changed in a way because things have gotten better for you i don't know man consciously when i think about it i get confused mm. i'm still attracted to those kind of roles mm. maybe because i know them so well mm. maybe because i know that i can do a very good job with them these happy go lucky roles don't really attract me i'll think about it man agash mm. now you just made me remember something i think that was a fallacy i don't think it really works that way you have to have your journey inwards you have to be mature enough to stop being the victim and you have to take responsibility and accountability of your own actions and work consciously to start healing them the one baby step at a time it will happen yeah and uh I feel you have. That's the biggest I think takeaway from your journey has been that you have always been accountable. You have always taken responsibility for everything that you have. You think you have been wrong at. Like just now, you said that you were overconfident when you were twenty-five. Uh, you kind of thought about yourself in a different way, and that takes a lot of courage to kind of realize that. And you have had your battle with mental health. Sometimes, yeah, Rakesh. But you know, you have to be your biggest cheerleader also. Yeah. When we start eating humble pie like this, now it. starts giving people that wedge of a space mm. to invade your honor yeah you understand what i'm saying so i do that but then immediately i pat myself on the back also yeah i get it completely because uh, the people's perception towards you change they start looking at you from a different uh, point of view बहुत कम लोग अपनी गलतियां पहले तो मानते हैं बहुत कम लोग मानते हैं और जो मानते हैं तो बोलते हाँ तुमने ही तो माना था तुमने अपनी गलती मानते गलत गलत तुम ही हो नहीं यार तुम्हारे में भी गलती है बट मैं एक्सेप्ट कर रहा हूँ ग्रेसफुल बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू इम्प्रूव ऑन इट अगर मैं एक्सेप्ट नहीं करूंगा तो इम्प्रूव नहीं करूंगाउट it you just keep getting better you just keep figuring out yourself and you have had your own battle with mm. it and but you have been going into therapy you have had that experience how has that kind of changed your uh, life and it changed your perception and point of view towards okay let me put it this way earlier i have gone for therapy mm. but you know deep in my heart i still had this kind of toxic belief mm. that i am going i am going for all this but i am doing it as a last ditch effort but ejaz the solution lies within yourself you don't need anyone else and now my perception has changed mm. i'm not talking only about depression or a few other things mm. i'm talking about understanding yourself mm. because that is step 1 towards 
heal it. That is what therapy is. I am taking help to understand myself. And I am giving into the process completely. Without this one person nagging thought that you are enough, yaar. you don't really need all this. Mm. I am giving into it completely. Yeah. And uh, I tell you the why I feel very <coughs> associated and kind of relatable to it because I still remember the, when we had that conversation, now, uske baad, it made me also reflect on some things. Because I also have had my issues, maybe or not on that level that I can call it a depression or something. It has been anxiety, it has been other issues of my own, feeling low and everything. Mm. And that conversation actually helped me kind of come to terms with it a lot because I also realized that, yeah, maybe I also have done that. So that is why I feel a sense of relatability when you tell these stories. Uh, but did you, like uh, our conversation was like one of the first time you ever spoke about your mental health. Did you see the per perception of people changing towards you after? In good ways and bad ways. Mm. Bad ways I'm sure like it would be a little more empathetic, uh, pity, sense of pity that they would see. No, as Kurula is crazy. Ah. And I think that's the worst you can do to someone. What do you People understand according to their capacity of understanding, according to their life experiences. Sure. experience hai nahi, to unko kya yeah. But it still hurts. Yeah, it, it does. When especially when you are vulnerable to someone and then kya kar hai? Thik, does life, not. life is not supposed to be fair. Uh, also, I feel like uh, you had also opened up at a time when social media was there. So it's more evident for people to come out and speak about it. Mm. So uh, I'm sure I had opened up because I knew that this aspect would be touched upon in my stint in Big Boss and I wanted hmm. a very fair outreach yeah. before that. Hmm. Yeah. And we gave that. <laughs> that I would say. But uh, going into <coughs> Big Boss, like that was a decision that you took and hmm. it was a vulnerable decision because uh, you had to go out and be yourself and talk about these things as you said. After coming out, did you saw that effect positively your life or not? I could have handled it much better. Hmm. It gives you a pedestal, it puts you on a high horse, it makes you overconfident. Yeah. It also makes you very attracted to conflict. That becomes your comfort zone. Hmm. Conflict again and again and again. And I don't know how to put it, fortunately or unfortunately, both of us, Pavitra and I, hmm. came out of that. Yeah. And we're together. Hmm. So, yeah. there are still parts of it that leads into our personal life. Yeah. So, and also I think I could have, I could have fast-tracked the healing process, which unfortunately for a lot of personal reasons, I couldn't. Yeah. Is also what makes her relationship also a little stronger as well, because she has seen that Absolutely. vulnerable side of yours. Absolutely. And, uh, and she has seen that vulnerable side being exposed to the world. No, no, I'm not only talking about my personal relationship with her. Yeah. Not romantic, I'm talking about my personal, my relationship with myself, I think yeah. I could have fast-tracked the healing, mm. but I got lost in a lot of things here. I got lost in building the career back post-COVID. Mm. I got lost in, uh, I had to focus on uh, making the relationship healthy. Mm. <coughs> I had to focus on my health issues yeah. again and again and again that were happening. So I lost touch with that authentic myself and that healing part of me that small part of me that takes care of that little child is ours. Mm -hmm. I lost touch. So, I realized that and I think the realizing is half the solution. I don't know how you kind of make me realize a lot of things about myself when I talk to you. A uh, lot of relatability on those fronts. But like, uh, you have seen a complicated relationship with your father as well. When you think about the future maybe, someday having kids, has that kind of changed your Scares position me. of what kind of father you Scares were? Me. I have had, I think my father was the best according to his capability and understanding. That means he's the best. I think what it will do to me is I will be a little more, despite being a nervous wreck and scared, mm -hmm. I will be a little more human towards myself mm -hmm. when I'm being a father and also I will not try to be as controlling. I will let my mm. children, I hope to have a few, yeah. my children hone their personality according 
to how universe wants them to hold and not according to how I want them to be, hmm. not as a reflection of myself. Hmm. I read about it a lot because I'm very scared. Hmm. I read about it, but uh, I think I'll be a good father. Yeah, I think I'm sure you're gonna be. But I love that you said uh, about the human part because I feel somewhere down the line we forget that uh, yes. They are parents, but they are also human at the end of the day. छोटे रहते तो भूल जाते हैं। वही। Once you grow up and once you realize, oh my god, I'm making the same mistakes. Yeah. Oh my god, I judged him so much for this. Oh my god, I have such tough choices. I have to make the best worst choice. Yeah. He must have done that all his life. Who am I to judge him? Yeah, that that is like one of the most trickiest part of adulting, I would say. You get to realize and. Uh, You understand where your parents come from, yeah, 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 and sure. that's a tough pill to swallow oh. because you have kind of shamed them all your life while growing up, and then you realize. Okay. That, I feel that's a part of growing up. Yeah, yeah. there is a lot of teenage True. angst. There is a lot of aggression which is uh, not channelized hmm. at one point. And what education system do we have? Yeah, we are suppressing, suppressing, suppressing our natural instincts so hmm. much that eventually it comes out somewhere. Yeah. True. And, Not uh, only education system. I mean, mm. too small a voice to speak about that. But mm. overall, the way we have figured out humanity and where it's going, yeah. you know. And one thing you mentioned now uh, earlier that uh, you used to think that I'm a man, I can't cry. These kind of things that were put into somewhere down the line, you feel that uh, the uh, stereotypical image of a man that society puts out to be that kind of also. Held you back in kind of that healing process that you said, or maybe confronting hmm. the demons inside you, or confronting what was actually going on. Okay, Akash. See, all our learning is an ongoing process. Okay, what my core beliefs were there, yeah. then I'm not saying they've shifted, yeah. but I'm saying there are a lot of corrections that have come there. They evolve. Now that I am a part, I am a man's man now. I'm a woman's man now. Yeah. Soon to be. A child's man now. Mm. I realize the tough choices that the patriarchal system also had once upon a time. Yeah. I'm more sympathetic towards that. Mm. Having said that, I'm not saying that uh, I am a tra traditional setup or something. I think every individual has their own uniqueness. Mm. You can't generalize or compartmentalize yeah. everything that way. But I, in the past few years now, life has not given me a lot of chances to be vulnerable and to be to cry, mm. especially with my health. Especially with, I mean, Akash, two, two, three, three months of being bedridden, being on painkillers, immediately in fifteen days getting back in shape, doing City of Dreams three, being tearing my Achilles tendon and. You know, there was a scene where Vijay sir puts a shoe on my leg hmm. in the in the uh, yeah, morgue. Yeah, you are going to the dead body. Okay. Hmm. So my two metatarsals were broken, and I was supposed to act like a dead body. And it wasn't a part of the scene. He just picked it and did it. I went like that. They were broken, and nahi andar ja raha tha, and he was forcing and putting it in because hmm. that was a part of the scene. So. Life hasn't given me scope or the luxury to cry. Now I understand that it is okay to be that way also. It is maturity comes that way. Yeah, नहीं हो नहीं होता यार बहुत लोगों को choices नहीं होती हैं. ठीक है. So now life also doesn't give you that liberty. ठीक है. वो है. Eventually you die in the end. Yeah. Why take it so seriously? Yeah. And I uh, completely uh, when you just say na, I just realize that. People see what's on screen. They don't realize the hard work, the struggles that go be behind it. Like people see you, okay, you are playing a dead body in that scene. They don't know the struggles that went behind it. ठीक है यार खाने का तो struggle नहीं है लोगों को बहुत है चलता है there are wars going on in the world यार true you have dealt with your vulnerability you have de dealt with your scrutiny but when another person comes and they also have to deal with it with you dealing with it yourself is still your own inner Stop, battle. Yeah. But when someone else is also because your relationship started on TV, and it's tough. Also, when you figure out in your personal relationship, now there is common ground, understanding. Yeah, then who decides? Who will be understanding? Will be. 
because all the time it is your turn to be understanding who's going to understand you yeah. it is tough yeah. and uh, did you ever feel that uh, judgmental eye on that ki people say na the relationship that start on tv don't last long so you, you feel that somewhere people are still kind of uh, the, there ki kab end hoga kab end hoga it is that puts that a lot of undue pressure on it yeah it is hey kya kare theek hai it's your life you are you know what you are dealing with and you have to deal yeah. with it but i completely understand that because i have seen that and somewhere i have also been there who have ju- who has judged that before entering the industry because my perception was different before coming into this field after i came into the field i also when i talk to people i understand what actually they also go through they also have to see and deal with like uh, i remember i had got to the big boss uh, 16 ka house for the house tour i was there in 10 minutes i was like puch nikalo yaar main nahi kar sakta abbe abbe mujhse house tour nahi ho raha hai main 40 minute to nahi wo 40 50 din to bhai alag hi baat hai main 40 minute nahi nikal sakta 110 din 110 din and i am like mujhse nahi ho sakta hai so it's understandable once you kind of experience that you kind of see that uh, you said you are soon going to be a child's man are you planning to have a family or is there i am dying place? to get married and have a family uh, i am dying i mean i don't know why people think that we are pushing it back or i am uh, i'm not ready or something no man i am dying i mean we just looking for the right time you only had said in an earlier it where i was just reading ki i want the whole family to be there i want everyone abhi kya kar rahe hain she is being like let's just do it <laughs> that's why people think you are pushing it <laughs> she is very busy ah uh, ye both are it is good i feel like are uh, but busy. see we don't have like a joint family set up that is mm-hmm. going to take care of all the nitty gritties yeah we'll have to take care of at least 100 200 people yeah right people who will come from abroad and everything mm-hmm. and that needs a lot of planning it doesn't happen within a week yeah so dekhenge jab time rahega ya kya kare uh i am sure there's going to be very soon and uh, we'll be waiting for it inshallah uh i'll personally come and wish you when when it happens please do uh, be most happy uh i i i have to say like i i feel an emotional connect with you and uh, it all started because of that conversation Me, we might not have spoken much uh, after that uh but uh, i still feel that conversation with always be special Very i think special. it's it feels always, like we have, always yeah always. i feel like we have picked up from there <laughs> so it's like a follow up for that it's it's proving to be very cathartic for me as well but has it become easier now to deal with things with uh, when success also comes when uh, there's a, a little stability in personal life as well and uh, a little uh, stability in professional life i wish life as well. i could say it that with time it has been easier but no it hasn't been especially because of my health issues hmm. because yaar if you're unwell yeah. then it is a matter of survival right i mean again and again if you're getting ty- typhoid again and again it messes with your gut yeah. and you know you actually say you have a gut feeling yeah it is the same bloody membrane that your brain is made up of you get brain fog you get a lot of uh, confidence issues yeah. especially when you can't walk for 2 3 months mm. i haven't been able to run for a year and a half for a dance imagine how that yeah. is so especially because of that uh, it trickles down into my personal life also so mm. it has been very challenging and i don't know what the universe wants to teach me mm. maybe i'm not learning something Yeah. once i learn with the pattern will break yeah i understand also like because you are always someone people keep an eye on being a public figure so not being able to walk for two months or just dealing with these little little things i feel triggered to... just talking about it man i i got those days of having painkillers getting indigestion because of those painkillers <sighs> it is it is stuff it is stuff to deal with it and also i feel for you and for anyone from this industry that deals with such stuff because i somewhere i feel this industry as well as the audience don't give you that scope to kind of deal with it like a human why should they served ourselves on a platter hmm. we are benefiting hmm. from the scrutiny so it's okay it's very fair Yeah, so you never regret kind of uh, in those all. tough times. Not at, Not at all. all. Not at all. Uh, I'm getting my due. Yeah. Come on, man. People, the salary that they make in couple of months, mm. I earn in a day. Yeah. Of course, it's not going to be that till sixty. What kind of work mm. I do? Maybe another five six years. Yeah. 
my shelf life is small i understand that but i'm i feel i'm very very lucky and blessed yeah you know as small as somebody who doesn't know me personally at all mujhe apne duaon mein rakhta hai aur pyar karta hai how is that possible man i feel so blessed because of yeah and uh, i'm not asking about pavitra but i'm asking about you how have you evolved as a partner because i remember the last time we had spoke you had to accept your shortcomings uh when you used to kind of let your anger take over or maybe you were not that invested or i remember you used to uh, feeling attracted towards your therapist as well that things all you said how you evolved as a partner now you'll understand this you know i started seeing my mother in pavitra in big boss that's probably the reason why i fell in love with her but you don't see your mother all the time all the time you fall in love with the person then see we underwent a huge challenge when we got out because we were stuck in a lockdown again yeah <laughs> big boss ke ghar se asli big boss imagine yeah. we negotiated that yeah. we lasted for so long yeah. but it took a toll on us and how we have negotiated till now is both of us have evolved in our own specific ways yeah. i will not call them compromises yeah. or sacrifices i will call them growth yeah in simple terms i stopped thinking like a boy i started yeah. thinking like a man yeah what does that compromise a uh, comprise of tough calls tough choices yeah. you can't complain all the time you have to accept stoicism and uh, you have to roll with the punches and move on yeah because as i said my value is earned yeah. my respect has to be earned it cannot be given to me because i am a man i am not complaining about this either it comes with its privileges yeah okay so no complaints uh a lot of realization mm. a lot of self introspection mm. then realizing oh my god there is so much more to be done mm. so much more work to be done so much more self healing to be done so mm. much more and oh my god okay this hasn't been healed and i'm bleeding on my loved ones oh my god and then life doesn't give you the luxury of time because of what was happening and everything So yeah in simple terms I grew up and I can tell you this is not just for the sake of saying it because I'm here I actually see a lot of growth and uh, evolution in the way you are talking about these things as well because thank you actually people won't realize because what's written is still very different from how we have conversed during that call and to see this conversation like I actually see a lot of difference I see a lot of growth, a positive difference towards it, and I see a man who has uh, accepted his demons, who still on the course of be, uh, fighting with a lot of them, has uh, conquered some, still fighting with some, and still about to maybe find some, but he is on a process of it, and he is on a journey of its own. I could have put it better, and that I think has been your journey. in life as well because i have literally seen read and spoken to you about those things i have seen you being caught in the crossfire i have seen you being in legal trouble i have seen you being in the different kind of situations and you have dealt with it all i guess you you're putting me on a pedestal right now but i'm telling you it's only we are highlighting all these things mm. because i am in the public eye yeah you ask any one of these gentlemen mm. all of them are dealing with something or the other true so it doesn't make me unique or special yeah but the universe has given me a platform mm. to normalize a few things true and i speak about it consciously since that time that was the first mm. time i spoke to you mm. since that time i use sensible platforms mm. which will not dehumanize vulnerabilities and glorify difficulties so that people realize ha yaar iske sath bhi hote hai apne sath bhi hote hai sabke sath hote hai theek hai and uh, you might say that it doesn't make you unique or special 
that might be the case but that makes you brave and i think that bravery needs to be acknowledged because when it gets acknowledged na other people find courage in accepting that because they like if someone else dealing with that is called brave maybe i can also show that bravery maybe i can also be on that side and it might help and inspire someone to kind of open up and be vocal about their issues so i'm sure uh, it might not feel that way or it might but uh, your voice gives a voice to a lot of people as well i realize that it it at least inspires or pushes them to have that voice so it's always i realize it's a very big responsibility it is it is and i feel happy that you use it for the right way thank you but uh, honored i just like uh, each conversation of ours i feel like goes very deep <laughs> in depth and i feel that is kind of a equation we have Jeez. and it's always a pleasure to see the side of yours and kind of explore myself along with it so thank you for giving me this time thank you, thank you very much well. god bless you god hope bless. you had a good time i did i, I did great right? can we do one more okay wo hai ke wala main post तो तू भी एक्टिंग सिखा दे मेरे को आपसे रमेश से फिर डायरेक्ट किया था आपको डिफेंस डायरेक्ट कर रहा है तू बता कैसा बोलो मैं हाय दिस इज एजाज खान एंड यू वाचिंग मी ऑन बॉलीवुड बाबू